Yeah, you can't get an LS1 anymore. No, uh, no. Mine's a, mine's a 2000, so that's seven. almost 20 years ago now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we use a 6.2 liter th uh, LS3. Okay. Um, mainly because they have uh, almost the same torque curve as the LS1. It comes up at about 1600 RPM and stays pretty well level to about 4500 and drops off again a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> the LS1 was about the same way. Came up about 1000, 1200, then right across to 4500 and dropped off. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's a little bit of give up, but uh, works pretty good. Right, right. Um, we used to build a, um, a PSRU, prop speed reduction unit, to go on the front of the engine, uh, or in case the back, where the metal housing is. Um, Can you show me that? Yeah. It's our gearbox. Yeah. Underneath there is the extra clutch we were looking at a while ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the interface here. Takes place in the flywheel on the engine. We use our flywheel instead of the GMs. And the system is yeah. Totally self contained. Uh, so, tell me about this uh, gear reduction box then. It's yeah. using uh, straight cut gears instead of aluminum, yeah, aluminum housing? Gears, yeah. CNC uh, case, uh, straight cut spur gears. We have a company uh, that builds our gears uh, for our application. Okay, you got them heat treated and everything, I'd assume, too. Yeah, it's, a, it's an aircraft gear company. The numbers well, up here around right, Illinois. I never can remember the name. <laughs> but. Um, uh, they make the gear sets for us. Uh, so 1.667 to 1 gear reduction. So you know, 4,500 on the, on the engine is 27.750 on a prop. Gotcha. Yeah. Right where the prop wants to run, right where the engine wants to run. Okay. Yeah. You take off, yeah. Flog it pretty good. You get up to the altitude, pull it back to about 3,200. And somewhere around. <laughs> about 3,000 to 3,500. Most airplanes have a sweet spot. Okay. Um, so you'll find what's the Good best cruising one. altitude. Best cruising, cruising speed for your engine with your airplane. Different color. Um, and, you know, away you go. Okay. Uh, it looks like the throttle body's different, or is that just a linkage that's... Uh, oh, you got an electronic... Uh, what? No, that's a prop governor. Prop governor. We use oh, hydraulic. prop governor, okay. Yeah, we use hydraulic prop... Uh, so what props. it is, I mean... Uh, that's on the other side of here is our oil pump. Right totally yeah, self-contained gear system. We use synthetic gear oil. Uh huh. Uh, pumps through with 40 psi oil, uh, oiling the bearings all the time. <laughs> you got 40 psi oil. Why not just feed it to a prop governor, kick it up to about 2,000, and then run it to a prop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got it there. Why use it? Why not use it? And then can you demonstrate the variable pitch, or does it have to be on? It has to be on. It has to be on, yeah. okay, you can't yeah. just move by hand? No. You can if you got about two before about that long. Uh, yeah. work, you, can, you can do it. All right. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty well, a lot of pressure takes to get them over there. So I know that certain versions of the LS3 came with a dry sump, but it looks like you just have a standard wet sump Yeah, we use huh? standard, yeah. standard yeah. crate engines. Uh, you know, just... Okay, as long as you're not doing loops and stuff, you don't have to worry about your engine exactly. getting starved of oil, right? Well, we, we don't, uh, we're not sort of, uh, we don't even allow uh, people to do airbags and our stuff. Oh, yeah? Um, it voids the warranty. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, the wall pickup on here is on the bottom. There's no inverted oil. No inverted oil on the engine. Turn it over. The prop's going to go bad. The engine's going to go bad. <laughs> so, yeah. As long as they positive G, you're okay. All right. Negative G, forget it. Uh, and then is this a custom exhaust man uh, manifold here? No, they're all off the shelf. Uh, really? Just b block hugger headers you can buy at any auto parts store. Yeah, okay. Uh, what we do is we heat treat them, or powder coat them. Um, this whole set needs to be redone and replaced, and will be. Uh, I've got to rebuild this, this whole system sometime this next year. Okay. Uh, bring it up to the current standards. This is an old style. Uh, it has a radiator in the back right now that work well on, on the ground. Yeah. What we've gone to is two radiators on the side, one on each side of it. And we move the motor mount in behind the uh, headers yeah. of the space. Okay, radiator here, radiator on the other side. Now this thing can sit out here on a 100 degree day, uh -huh. idling all day long, never overheat. Okay, I'm surprised. So even with the blades turning, you're still uh, having overheating issues, huh? Yeah, uh, because there's not a whole lot of air coming through. Yeah, cowling and everything around yeah. there. Yeah, okay. You get sense. high pressure air, you know, flying. Yeah, it's okay. It'll work. But you know, why not do something that works better on the ground? Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. 
but uh, radiators on the side. So, can you demonstrate it for me on this rig, then? Can you demonstrate it for me? Nope. No? Uh, the EAA, in their wisdom, says propellers at air shows are dangerous. Yeah. So we cannot crank and run it. Okay. Come to science plan on crank and run it for you. Yeah? All right. But not I mean, that's what this apparatus is built for, right? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. yeah. It's got a throttle here and an RPM gauge, so. Yeah. That screws pull off the side, you can run it. So wait, can you actually drive it around on air power? Uh, I mean, it's on a go-kart really. chassis, so. Not really. No? Uh, that's just to get it in out, out of the uh, trailer. Yeah, okay. Right. We do take applications occasionally for drivers. We haven't found anybody else. Haven't found anyone yet, yet, stupid enough yeah. to hit with their, with their blade or the blade or yeah, the propeller that close to their head. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right there, they just. It'd be an interesting seating it. position. You'd have to lay down. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, thank you. Appreciate your time. You bet.